Welcome everybody to an exciting episode of Tran Can Cook. That's it's right. me, Viet Tran. And I'm Kevin Tran. And on today's episode, do we have a boy, a great episode, how to make my grandfather's chicken wings. These right. guys, guys, these chicken wings are to die for. I mean, I thought my mom's uh, recipe was great, which the, it is, mom, I love you. <laughs> but after trying Viet's grandpa's recipe, this is, I'm talking about explosion of flavors everywhere. So. Right, you know, I'm really, um, Glad to share this recipe with everybody, with my friends and family, because I really want to pay homage to my grandfather. Yeah. He um, recently passed away, and um, you know this is something that we collect over the years. He collected a lot of recipes in Vietnam through the new local newspaper, and this is a very special one that was handwritten down that he collected from some restaurant. Um, in but, and then he, yeah, and then Vietnam, and he made it himself. And uh, you know, my mom made this recipe because it's written down his ledger, <laughs> yeah. and it's a uh, container of the spices. And she made the chicken wings for me. I was like, wow, this is so great. She's like, she's like, did you know this from your grandfather? I was like, no, I didn't know it. Over, I tried it and wow, what better way to pay respect than to actually redo it here and show you guys how to do it. Exactly. Right? So guys, let's get started. What are we gonna do with it? What's, what's going on first? All right, so the next thing you need to do is uh, prep the chicken. What we have here, we've got the winglets and we already prepped it already. Yeah. We already chopped the wings, a little uh, winglet off. Uh -huh. uh, and then we have the drumets and the wings here. Did you clean it? How'd you clean it? Yes. With salt? With the salt and water, salt and water. just to cleanse it out, clean okay. it out, okay. all right? And then um, now we need to get ready to get dusted. Cool. All right. First off, we've got some uh, flour here. Exactly. Did you use wonder flour? That's what Viet likes to use? Yes. If you can find uh, wonder flour, it's very light. It's not as heavy as a regular flour. That's right. Um, it's mainly used for gravy. You can mix it, it stirs in, you don't get those clumps. Um, but they're also very excellent for making wings. That's right. So you also want to dry off your wings. Uh, it's a dry rub, guys. The reason why you don't want yes. it, a lot of times some people like they, they dip it in egg and kind of get a coating on it. The reason why we don't want to do that is because this is kind of a dry rub. We want everything to be dry once you dip it with the flour. And then of course, all the other spices that we have here, uh, it won't kind of get slimy and gunky, okay? Exactly. That's right. So uh, Viet, I'm gonna, what, while you're drying it off, please tell me what, what is this? It's right. spice powder. To start off with, uh, main key ingredient here is five spice powder here. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a tablespoon and a half. Mm -hmm. We'll also have about a tablespoon of garlic powder. Okay. All right. All right. And then uh, ginger powder. Ginger powder. All right. And that's going to be about half a tablespoon there. Half a tablespoon. And then we have white pepper. White pepper. And all then we're, it? yeah, going to put all of it. That's about um, half a teaspoon. Okay. Uh, sorry, half a tablespoon. And then also, as well as the Black, black pepper. pepper, and we're going to use about a tablespoon of that, and then probably uh, about another teaspoon or so, or a half tablespoon of salt. salt. And we're going to mix it all around, get it all incorporated. Yeah, this is a, we're just making a small batch enough for here. Uh, this is great if you can store this in a container and use it whenever. Yeah, so you can but, uh, if you make a lot, you make extra, that's fine. Just kind of keep it in this container and use it for next time. I mm -hmm. do that at my house, so. Mix it all up there. Yes, sir. And what we're going to do first. Go ahead. You, go, you can go ahead and do that while I mix this up. Okay. Go ahead and flour that up, brother. Is um, Go ahead and make sure it's all dry on the bottom as well. All right. Whoops. Woo! Casualty. Casualty. <laughs> hey. And then uh, go ahead and dust that there. Mm -hmm. There you go. We've got this fun little toy here, guys. A little spinner, a little bit gummy. Oh! Okay. <laughs> can I can use that. <laughs> Uh, it's not anyway, meant for dry spice, I know, my friend. It, it's meant for eggs, for beating eggs, but I just figured we could do that, but anywho. Make sure you want to dust it off. All right, all right. dust it all nice and clean. Give us a nice little plate for your hand, brother. And then we're going to dredge that in here. Okay. Dust that. Mm. And, and that is a simple process. Look how simple it is, guys. It's fast, it's easy. Well, Vin already got his all nice and dusted. I'm. This is here the fish sauce. Uh, we have. We don't have garlic actually, but we have garlic powder. Typically, my mom uses the garlic, and I'm gonna go ahead. This is kind of a wet rub, but get it all in here with the flour. Okay, mix that all up here. All right. Then mix that with the same rub, the five spice, the garlic powder, ginger powder, and all that good stuff. There we go. How we like it now. Okay. The only thing, the only thing that I think the difference with this one is you're gonna have kind of like more of a fish sauce kind of a taste uh, uh, marinated into the uh, chicken already. But man, the flavors are awesome for both recipes, I'm telling you right now. This is to die for, I promise you. All right. All right guys, well we have Viet's dry rub chicken right here. The exactly. Grandpa's chicken. And then we have my mom's uh, version of it down here with the uh, kind of marinated in fish sauce. We're gonna go ahead. Viet, what did you do with the oil? Oil here, heating up right now, it's about 350 degrees. Okay. It's almost there. 
It's going up. Actually, it's right here right now. Cool. So, um, Go what ahead. we're going to do first. Please do That's mine. It's yours? That's mine. Those are yours right there. You sure? Yep. I'm sure of it. Positive? Positive. 100%. All right. Nice. And the nice. key thing is you want to keep a high heat. So, let me just turn this up. Yep. Make sure it's getting really hot because you want it to really crisp up. All yeah. Right? Exactly. 375 is absolutely fine. Key to, and whenever you're frying anything, is temperature, guys. If you have it on too low, it's gonna cook differently, way differently, and you have a different outcome. Exactly. Every so time. you wanna make sure. And uh, also, you wanna make sure after you dust it, go ahead and fry it right away. <laughs> and take like that. first. Take these broken wings and learn to fly again. Learn to live so free. When we hear the voices sing. Well, he's going to be the best damn wings you're ever going to have in your life. I promise you that. There you have it, guys. My grandfather's famous wings. That's right. And a little twist of Kevin's uh, My mom's mama's marinated wings. marinated with fish sauce wings, and uh, I'm starving, Vit. You going to you gonna try some of this with me? All you, buddy. Oh, me? And, yeah. In the spirit of Lynn, I, I'm, I'm giving up meat four days, four nights. So wow. I'm going to give up on this. Thing, but you know, I did have it for a Super Bowl party. Awesome. Wow. Everybody loved it. Guys, this is the bee's knees. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I can eat this alone. You, yeah. you can probably knock all that out easily. I can eat this alone without any sauce, but if you did have to have sauce, you can try it oh, with yeah. some of the Sang Sang fish sauce. Do, do, do a little dippy dip. Salt and pepper, lime. That always goes well. Exactly. And for you weirdos out there who might want to eat it with soy sauce, chicken wings, eat that with a little bit of soya. Yeah, With check them rice. out. Really good stuff. All right, guys. This is wow. Oh, you know, it, ideally, this is one of the great wings that you don't even need wow. the sauce yeah. to begin with. I mean, the, the rub itself is all there. You know, it's not overpowering. It, it's just just right on the money. This is excellent. Wow, guys. This is you guys need to try this at home immediately. Super Bowl for next year. <laughs> Football games, period. Basketball, whatever. It doesn't matter. Try it. Exactly. Guys, please follow us on Twitter. Check out our Facebook. Become a fan. Like us. Uh, YouTube, comment, subscribe, do everything, send us your feedback, let us know what you guys want us to yes. do. We're going to push out more episodes more frequently. I know you guys have been waiting for us for, to produce some more videos. So No more four-month-long videos, okay, guys? We'll do it. We're going we're, we're gonna, to we're gonna keep pushing it out as much as we can. That's right. All right. But like we always say, say if we, we can, can cook, cook, you, you can, can cook, cook train can cook. cook. We'll see you guys next time. Mm. See you guys next time eating some more chicken wings. <laughs>